Hi there, in my previous video I introduced the concept of velocity and I also explained it a little further by using a very simple example. However, in the real world you don't always use that simple measure. There are other terms and measures which are used more commonly. There are two such measures. The first one is called SPPD or sales per point of distribution and the second one is called sales per million. In today's video, I will explain these measures in a lot more detail. So let's get started. The world of marketing is vast, complex and rapidly evolving. But with just a bit of help, it can be a lot of fun. On this channel, I simplify real-world marketing for all the curious minds out there. Hi, I'm Rahul and this is the business of marketing. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and if you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. So as I mentioned, there are primarily two most commonly used measures when it comes to velocity. The first one is sales per point of distribution or it is also known as SPPD and the second one is sales per million, it's also called sales per million percentage ACV. In my last video, we spoke about what velocity exactly is and how it is used primarily for comparative purposes. Comparing different products within your own portfolio, comparing uh, products with competitors, comparing performance between different markets, all kinds of comparisons to try and understand which products are driving the best consumer demand. To calculate velocity, we divide sales by distribution. Distribution is always in the denominator. What we have already learned about distribution is that distribution measures which are commonly used in the real world aren't the simple distribution but they are the weighted distribution and the most common measure which is used for distribution is percentage ACV which weighs different retailers on the basis of their overall size. The first measure that we are going to talk about today is SPPD or sales per point of distribution which takes weighted distribution or the percentage ACV distribution into consideration rather than simple distribution. Sales per point of distribution is a measure of velocity to analyze sales within a market or a single retailer. It uses weighted distribution instead of numeric distribution by using percentage ACV in the calculation. Therefore, we can see that SPPD formula becomes sales divided by percentage ACV distribution. If you are unsure about weighted distribution and the kind of measures which I keep referring to in this video, I strongly suggest that you go and watch the earlier series which I have done on distribution. And uh, once you understand those distribution measures and how they are calculated and what are the things that they take into account, understanding velocity and the measures around velocity will become much simpler for you. Let me help you understand SPPD really well with the help of an example. In this example, what you will see is that we are talking about market one and the data is for the period of April 2020. There are four different products, A, B, C and D. We have their total sales in terms of value. We have their percentage ACB distribution and we have their SPPD, all three mentioned in three different columns. If you take a slightly closer look at this illustration, you will see that the first column looks similar. The sales are in the range of $70,000 to $88,000. So they are not too far apart from each other. However, when you look at the other two columns, the percentage ACV distribution and SPPD column, there seem to be two groups of products that you can see. The first group is product A and product B, which has a high percentage ACV distribution. So they've got really good distribution. And the second group, product C and product D, have a much lower percentage ACV distribution. At the same time, the first group, which is A and B, has low velocity or SPPD, uh, which is in the range of 1000 to 1100, while the second group, C and D, has a very high velocity. Now what does this mean? To put it very simply, the first group products A and B, sales is actually being driven by distribution. While for the second group, which is product C and D, sales is being driven by velocity. As you can see in the example with percentage ACV distribution, 
the comparison between different products in a single market becomes much more realistic as compared to using simple or numeric distribution in the first place. So when is SPPD commonly used? SPPD is a great measure when you want to analyze a single retailer or sales within the market. It is rarely used. Uh, I would strongly suggest that you do not use it when you are making comparisons between different markets because SPPD does not take into consideration the relative size of the markets. What I simply mean is that a store in a large market will generate a lot more sales than a store in a small market and therefore using SPPD across markets is not going to be a good solution. So the obvious next question is what measures should one use when you are making comparison across different markets? And this is where the next measure which is sales per million comes into play. Sales per million or sales per million percentage ACV is a measure of velocity to analyze sales across markets, retailers or channels. It not only uses the weighted distribution but also uses the actual ACV or the total sales of the entire market. In the case of sales per million, it is calculated by dividing sales by percentage ACV distribution multiplied by sales per million dollars or market ACV. Another way to think about sales per million is how much of my product is actually being sold per million dollars of the total market sales. Since the total market sales will be a very huge number, it is divided by 1 million. To understand the concept of sales per million, what I am going to do is take the help of another example. In this example, I have taken the market 1 from the previous example and I have added another smaller market known as market 2. What you can see is that market 1 and market 2 are not of the same size. Market 1 is almost 2.5 times larger than market 2. The difference in the size of the two markets is evident in the sales numbers which you can see clearly and it is also evident in the SPPD numbers between the two different markets. However, when it comes to the percentage ACV distribution between the products in the two markets, the difference is not that huge. So the main question to try and understand over here is, does lower SPPD in market 2 mean that there is a much lower demand for the products in market 2? And that is what we are going to try and find out. What I have done in the same example is added the total ACV for market 1 and market 2. In the case of market 1, the total sales for the month of April 2020 is 120 million and in the case of market 2, the total sales is 50 million. By using the ACV for the individual markets, we can easily calculate the sales per million for all the products in both the markets. And this is when we can compare the SPPD for the different products in market 1 with the sales per million of the different products in market 1 and at the same time we can look at the same data for market 2. So when we compare the SPPD numbers between the two different markets we see that SPPD is showing a situation wherein in market 2 the consumer demand or the velocity is extremely low for the same products. However, when we look at the sales per million numbers, we see that the consumer demand for each of the products is actually pretty similar between the two markets. What this means is that SPPD was not the right measure to compare two different markets because the size of the markets is very different and sales per million takes into consideration the size of the markets and adjusts the data accordingly. And that brings me to the end of today's video. I spoke about two different measures, SPPD and sales per million. Just keep in mind that when you're making comparisons within a single market or a retailer, you can use SPPD as the right measure because it takes uh, weighted distribution into consideration. However, when you're making comparisons between different markets, you should always use sales per million as the right measure because it not only takes the weighted distribution or percentage ACV distribution into consideration, but it also takes the uh, relative size of the different markets into consideration. Sales per million is something which you can use for comparisons not only across the markets but also within the market and some people prefer to use that as the single measure for measuring velocity. I really hope you liked today's video and if you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you should subscribe now. 
if you have any thoughts on what else I should cover, do let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for being a part of Business of Marketing.